the brand new Target Cult Darts Review begins right now. Hey, hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here. We have an incredible video for you today. I think quite a few of you are patiently waiting for this one. So from Target's most recent launch today, we'll be taking a close up look at the brand new Target Cult Model 01s. And as you're gonna see in the next clip, they also have two more steel tip models. They also have a soft tip model or a couple soft tip models. I'm gonna have a link down in the pinned comment. It's gonna take you over to the Target Darts website. You'll be able to check out all the cult darts as well as the rest of their stuff from their most recent launch. Matter of fact, in case you missed it here on this channel, I've already reviewed the brand new RVB darts and I've already reviewed the brand new Phil Taylor Gen 9 darts. And for those of you, for some reason, if you missed it, I'm doing a giveaway on those right now. So if you haven't entered, make sure you look down below in the pinned comment as well. That's gonna be a link to take you over to the giveaway video. So make sure you're entered and you're gonna win yourself a set of the brand new Phil Taylor Gen 9 darts, weight of your choice. And even if you want soft tips, I'll give you a set of those as well, your choice. But I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let's grab the other camera. We'll unbox these things. We'll take a close up look. I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know. Then after all that, I'll get them on the board. I'll throw these for a bit. I'm gonna let you know what I think of the brand new Target Cult darts. So here we go, should be a pretty good video. Okay, so are you ready for this one? The brand new Target Cult Darts. I'm gonna show you the packaging really quick, everything it comes with. I'll show you a quick close-up of the darts and then we'll take it from there. So the packaging itself, fairly typical stuff from Target. We have a cardboard hang case. We've got some pictures on the back with the three different models that these come with. So I happen to buy model 01, 21 grams, 90% tungsten, match weighted to plus or minus 0 0.05 grams. Really, Target? Well, we're going to hold you to that here on this channel in just a second. So on the back, like I said, the three different models. I bought the 01. They're available in 21, 23 grams. The 01s have the tapered front end. The model 2, they are available in 24 and 26 grams. And believe it or not, hard to tell from the picture, but they're a little bit front loaded. And then the Model 3s are Model 03, 22, and 24 grams. And those are the straight barrel versions. So those are the three different models. They're also available in soft tip. Now, everybody should know Target darts come fully assembled in this foam insert. We've got the Swiss point tool that seems to be in there really well. Target on one side, the Swiss point logo on the other. And then on the back, we've got... Again, the Target warranty card. These darts have been match weighted to a tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.05 grams. So they seem to make a big deal about the match weighting. Target's kind of hit or miss. So these are acclaimed 21.1 grams. We're going to hold you to that in the next clip. So you guys came not to see the box, but let's check out these darts, right? Wow, beautiful. Look at all the machining on these things. Incredible. Matter of fact, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but these were designed, this honeycomb type grip, designed after the Elysian 4s, or as you guys say in the UK, I know you're gonna roast me for how I pronounce things, Elysian, right? Elysian 4s, yeah, not quite identical. Again, I'll put a picture up above, but very, very similar. So I think that's where what these were designed after. Now on the back end, We've got the Target Pro Grip Evo stems. Let's check real quick. Oh yeah, hey, look at that. They do come with an O-ring, so that's always nice to see. And look at that. The logos on the stems match up with the logo on the barrel. So nice attention to detail there. On the back end, we got the standard size Target Cult Flight. Those things are beautiful with a gold, look at that, gold embossed logo there. Yeah, that's a nice, Looking dark. Man, I'm going to be um, not looking forward to dinging these things up. I mean, that is one beautiful set of flights. Wow. So anyway, guys, I've rambled on long enough. What do you say we jump into the next clip and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know, probably plus a little more. So here we go. The Target Cult Darts. 
Okay, so let me hit you with all these stats and dimensions here, but you know what? The more that I look at these darts, the more it appeals to the Irish side of me. We've got the black and the green and the gold. I mean, come on, that's such a great looking set of darts, kind of an Irish theme there. So as we normally do, we're going to start up front. These come with a 26 millimeter smooth Swiss point. However, come on, guys, you know how I do here on this channel. I like to improvise a little bit, switch things up so it's not boring as hell. So I will be slapping on the 35. That's right. 35 millimeter Diamond Pro Swiss point. Hey, and they're gold. So we're going to throw those on for the throwing part of the video just to make things maybe a little more interesting. So the barrels themselves, 90 percent tungsten. The barrel length coming in at 52 millimeters even. And the barrel width right here on the target logo, widest spot on the barrel, 6.8 millimeters wide. Now I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth. These are drilled out 13.8 millimeters deep. And you guys know these were advertised as 21 grams. Target made a huge deal about their match weight. Matter of fact, they mentioned it twice. So I'm not going to tell you what the weight is. I'm going to show you. So let's roll into the next clip for some match weight. Okay, so you're ready for this one. We have the $100 Target Cult Darts. That's right, $100 for these things. So I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just going to put them on the scale. However, you watch in the video, feel free to comment below on what you think. So again, these were advertised as 21 grams. So the first barrel, 21 Zero seven. The second barrel. Stay. Twenty one point one four. And finally, the third barrel. Twenty one point two seven. So there you go, guys. That is the match waiting. Comment down below on what you think about that for a set of. $100 Target Cult Dart. Well, let's go into the next clip and I'll talk about the grip. Okay, let me describe these barrels for you. I'll give you the grip level and then I'm going to show you how easy it is to repoint a dart using the Swiss point tool. It's actually going to take just seconds. So it's, it's pretty amazing how, how nice this system is if you want to switch out points. So starting on the front end here, I mean, look how tapered that is. So you're going to be able to group these things really tight. And if you look at the nose cone, we have those green teardrops. And then one of the major drawbacks with this barrel is look at that monster lip where the point meets the barrel. Now, what that's going to mean is if you have a dart already in the dartboard and you have the incoming dart, that lip is going to catch on to your expensive flight. So imagine using some like $12 or $13 condors. You have that lip just absolutely eating and bashing up your new expensive flights. Matter of fact, I didn't buy an extra set of these, so I kind of cringe thinking at how bad that lip is going to chew up these flights. But anyway, yeah, like I said, tapered front end. One thing that I really don't like about these barrels is this smooth section right here. It actually sticks up. I mean, it's hard to tell, but it sticks up a little higher than the rest of the barrel. So, I mean, you really feel this transition here and it just doesn't feel nice. It really doesn't. I mean, it kind of catches on your fingers. And uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of this part, this smooth section sticking up higher than the rest of the barrel. But as far as the front or the front and the rear, man, these things are pretty grippy. My hands are really rough this time of the year, so that's going to reduce the grip level. But even so, these things feel really grippy to me. I'm going to go ahead and give them a level 3.4 on a scale of 1 to 5. And I think if your hands are little bit softer they're going to feel even more grippy so definitely a grippy dart but again yeah that middle section just that does not feel nice to me for whatever reason it just it sticks up it's actually kind of sharp right here on the edges as well so not a fan of this smooth section at all on these barrels but i guess that's it we got some green teardrops on the back end and that's it. Well, let me, hey, let's repoint this thing really quick. So that's all you do. Swiss point tool, slide it on, give it a spin. You can take it out with your fingertips. You take the new point. And if you notice that, the point hole is much deeper with a Swiss point. I mean, these holes run in pretty deep, about 10 millimeters deep, I think. So that's it. You tighten it up and there you go. I mean, that took seconds, didn't it? So what do we think of that? gold 35 millimeter point on the front. Yeah, that looks nice. So 
I think these will throw really well. Again, I'm kind of worried about that lip on the front end, but so be it. We got to throw these things. So let's get them on the board. We're going to throw them just like you see them. So yeah, here we go. This should be fun. Okay, so I'm filming this clip. I'm going handheld. I'm filming it actually the day after I finished the review. I can't believe it took me this long to notice. But if you look, the barrel in the middle and on the right has like a shiny coating to it. And the barrel on the left, it's matte black. So these barrels don't even match. Have a closer look. Again, the barrel in the middle and on the right, kind of a shiny black titanium coating. And this barrel over here, matte black. It doesn't even match. What the heck, Target? Come on. These are supposed to be $100 darts. And on top of that, the match weighting two tenths of a gram off. Wow. Disappointing. Unreal, right? I just discovered that. So the clip you just watched, I, I just discovered that like 10 minutes ago. The darts were sitting on my desk and I just thought it was a lighting issue. Now I, got a, I have a lot of lights on in this room for the videos and I just thought it was the lights, the way they shine off the barrels. Matter of fact, I was having a hard time taking the thumbnail picture. I'm going to put that up full screen. So when I was taking this picture, if you'll notice the dart in the front is the oddball dart. And I was having a hard time getting the dart in front in focus. If you notice the two darts behind it, shiny, the one in front. Yeah, that's because it didn't match. So, yeah, this is the first review I've ever done where I have no interest in even finishing the review. I've already thrown the 180, so you'll see that in just a second. And matter of fact, I'm going to give these things a score. Feel free to deduct a point off of that because that was before I even knew about the mismatched barrels so anyway I mean as far as the barrels go again that middle section kind of screws me up because that's where I would normally grip so I don't think these barrels are going to work for a front gripper nor do I care at this point so these barrels really only designed for a rear gripper I mean they do have the other two models so there's that but um yeah I just I'm just lost interest in this review, to be totally honest with you. And, I mean, you know, what do you do? What do you do at this point? Do I contact Target? But look at it this way. What are they going to tell me to do? They're going to tell me to send them this set of darts. So I paid $100 for these things. i gotta send. I got to spend $15 to ship them to Target headquarters in the UK. So I'm out $115 with no darts. Unreal. What they should do. You know what they should do? They should send me... The entire lineup, the ones, model one, two, and threes. And I'll do a giveaway. That would make a that make a good um, I guess that would make up for it, right? I'm just so flustered now that I'm just pissed. Yeah, I don't even feel like throwing these things. Screw it. Let's roll into the next clip. We got a good 180 for you. And again, deduct a point from the score I'm about to give them. Really? Pathetic. Like I've said in the other videos where I've used these 35 millimeter points, man, that makes things so much easier to group tightly. But uh, there it is. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video so far. If you had, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, but even more, comment down below and let me know what you thought so far. But now comes the time of the video where I have to give these a recommendation on how well they're going to work for a recreational dart player. And unfortunately, they're not going to get a good score. I mean, first we got to start with the price. I paid 100 US dollars for these things. Pretty steep, right? And on top of that, this particular model, I think is really only designed for a rear gripper. Then you have this incredibly strange smooth section, the raised smooth section in the middle, which is incredibly sharp. And then up front, you have this massive lip, which you really can't do nothing about because you have Swiss points. So um, yeah, that lip is just going to probably 
cause for some really wild deflections and chew up your flight. So, you know, all of that combined, again, not going to get a great score. And, you know, if we were basing these things on looks, they would get an amazing score. I think we can all admit it's a great looking dart. And I think that's where a lot of customers are going to fall victim. They're going to buy these things based on looks. When they get them, the performance just isn't going to be there. So my recommendation for these and a recreational dart player, not great. They're only going to get a 2.9 out of 10. So um, yeah, I guess that's it for the video, guys. Again, if you enjoyed it, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. But until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Later.